please take the back door or something. I'm sorry. Can you take me out the back door? Just don't put me in handcuffs. Please. Um. <laughs> take a while, I don't care. <laughs> On August 16th, 2023, in Florida, officers received a call from a local Dollar General. The reason for the call was that the business was short almost $14,000. After conducting an audit, it appeared that a manager who was in charge of the cash deposits had been stealing thousands of dollars from the safe she was responsible for. And that's what I need to get very clear because, because I'm not going to trample over her civil rights because somebody else did. Yeah. It, was so, brother, it was all just to pay my mom. My brother's funeral. He just died. I understand. <laughs> he just told me that if I write that, I wouldn't go to jail. Understand that regardless <laughs> of what statements are made, right, that is for you to dispute with a lawyer. As far as we are concerned, you have now committed the act of grand theft. That is a felony. We have no choice. We must make an arrest and we must take you in. They are the entity representing the business and they are requesting that we take law, law enforcement action against you. That is our position on it, okay? Regardless of whether we think that their investigation went right or wrong, as far as we are concerned, we are going to conduct our investigation in the proper order, okay? Working Miranda's? Yeah. Okay. Where's Miguel? Uh, the only reason I wrote that because he told me I wouldn't go to jail if I wrote that. He was right here with me sitting saying that. So, <laughs> we're not going to take that or use it. I know, I so know. So, that's, I mean, that's just going to be something that they... Oh, that's for my that, record. That'll yeah. be for their yeah. records and oh, yeah, well, that's 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 as far as we are concerned, <coughs> we right. will give you the opportunity right. if you would like to, to make a statement and we will document it properly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, just a moment here while we sort things out. Oh, close the door so they can Yeah. The suspect told officers when they arrived that she was promised if she provided a full statement, they would not pursue charges. She then admitted to stealing the money for a family member's funeral. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can you just please take that door or something? I'm sorry. Can you take me out the back door? Just don't put me in handcuffs, please. Um. <laughs> take a while. I don't care. <laughs> I've been here two years, please, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, just relax for a second, we're not quite there yet. And are you her supervisor normally? Okay, so she's made the statement to us that she was um, told that if she provided a, a statement um, that she would, that you guys would not pursue prosecution as but long I, as you did make that statement to her? Okay, okay, I'll just yeah, need to clarify. Because, uh, I'm here because... I, I was trying to say for you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, I understand. The, the lady's lost prevention. Yeah. So she's going to do her thing. Yeah. I was trying to, at least, if she was willing to cooperate. Yes. I was assuming that lost prevention was going to yeah. take, take that into consideration and accept, mm -hmm. you know, like a deal. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it looked like she... Yeah, unfortunately. Okay. Those, those kind of deals. So because of that, um, do you have ID so we can just document that we spoke with you and that that statement? She's she's alleging that that statement was made, mm -hmm. and um, so as far as we are concerned, um, we can't accept any of this because it was all done under duress and all and under a false pretense. She was coerced essentially. You you've made false. Uh, pretenses that she wouldn't go to jail and we have nothing to do with that yeah, yeah. but as far as you're, we just need to document that this is the allegation that she's making and mm -hmm. that we properly read her Miranda and we let her know that anything that she states to us at the after mm -hmm. this point you know can and will be used against her so I just need your ID and that was all no I don't know where to provide my ID I don't have to I haven't committed any crime you're part of the investigation as the authorized representative and as her supervisor who brought her in here. You are now part of the investigation. You can raise your tone. No. I'm not raising my tone at all, sir. I've only spoken with you. I'm not afraid, but I'm not going to provide my ID because I haven't kind of the law. No problem. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, happy that this is happening. You okay. Because I didn't want that to happen to her. Okay. okay. Yeah. Not problem. Is 254. I am showing a couple of things. I can give you my name. Stop, stop. Uh, uh, yeah. Is there a voice in the camera? Huh? Is there a voice in the camera? No. It was all him when he said to me right under the camera right here. I'm sure he's telling the truth. 
So like this officer said, regardless of what took place, the crime took place. So we can't get around that. So and a lot of times, you know, people can choose not to prosecute at first and then change their mind. Can you tell me if I you know what I mean? My glasses are not working today. I can't really see this. Hey, Richard, one, fourteen, eleven, you're just thirteen. You need the dates. I stood from May, whatever, but um, I can detail the deposits amount that she admitted to, one by one. Yeah, if you can do that, and just like the time frame, you said April, May. You have a long past in April. And your brother was um, yeah, in March, right? Yeah, my mom, yeah. My mom died of cancer. My brother died of a heart attack. The 2600 one is, is on the slip, all of them. It was only the 15, the 22, and the 22. Um, As of this morning, the 2600 is still not in the bank. And that was from. Yeah, no, that, that one, yeah, that one that was, was the yellow slip is, should be with the, the ones that were here yesterday. It's only the last, the 15, the 22, and the 22. <laughs> the, the 26 is the one that I um, faxed over. Yeah, it's sent. The 26 boys is the one I scanned and sent. It was in there. Well, this one the is too. No, they're there. This is the one that you had that oh, one I didn't have. include do that you, one on that. Do you have right. uh, like a photo ID also? It's outside. He took my phone. Oh. Okay. Um, so, were you going to email me this? or? Yeah. Um, how did you want me to? No, you can just email me the whole spreadsheet. I'll just. Yeah. You just put on email, I'll put my email address. Once we get you searched, I can okay. allow you to. Yeah, she can come there. Okay. Yeah. Get the... So, um... Miss Hallie. Yes. Um, I need you a couple of. I need you to uh, initial the statement here. Okay. Then on this line, you're going to print your name because you want to prosecute on behalf of the business and then sign. Okay. okay. And this ba statement basically says that you swear and affirm that your statement is true and correct to the best of your knowledge. Can I take my um, debit card out and give it to, for my daughter? Just give it to your girl that works here, give it to my daughter. Um, hey, for puppies. Can I do the girl? Yeah, the black one. The girl that's working at the... Yeah, the black one. The tall one. Yeah. Jen. Cause, cause I have to get yeah, it. take whatever you want to give to her out. Mm -hmm. This one. Mm -hmm. My license is there for me. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then, um, yeah, that's for her to get to my daughter. Okay. Because it's Jen out there. You want to give it to her? Yeah, if you can call her in here, I just want to, um, I just want her to give them to my daughter in case my daughter has to get money. Yeah, we can give it to her. It's for Jen, not Carla. Jen. Jen. Thank you. Yeah, I, only, what, uh, I only acknowledge the 1500 and the other 22 and 22, that's it. It's not, it's not this other one. Is this the last one? In the yeah. Two in the 222s? So, yeah, the, the, well, like this one and the 222s? Yeah, the 22 and the 22. One, two, three. Yeah. The other ones are, no, I dropped them off there. Okay. Well, the, the amounts that the charges go is anything over 5,000, between five and 20,000. Like so, so, whether it's. Six thousand or ten thousand, right. it'll be like the same bond. Um, um, so it's gonna be, how much cash will she need? 
Country Cross Road Area 108, Gary Drive. Traffic moving on Phoenix, Penelope. Reference has heard from Single Free 3. It's not done where they are. I haven't done a second degree misdemeanor in a while. First one is like three. I'm going to stay between five, six thousand. Yeah, uh, you're not 100% sure. Like five million dollars cast in? Yeah, like if oh. you do like uh, 10% more. Mm -hmm. right, right. uh, Can I call my dog please? Because nobody knows anything. Yeah, She's going to be the one that's getting me out. Well, I'll be out of that. Hey, Tori. Can you hear me? Are you okay? No, I'm... What, Jill? What's wrong? Don't worry, don't tell nobody, but... I gave Jen my debit card at work. So you can show up. Call her on Facebook. They're, what? They're taking me to jail. So if you could bail me out. Why are they taking you to jail? Because of deposits. But, um, I mean, I didn't go yet, so I don't know how long it's going to be, but... What does she have to do? Hey, what Kyrie. What are you talking about? At work. I'll tell you later, but what does she have to do? The police officer is right here. You're in speakerphone. Um, hey, Kyrie. When, when they're ready to... Oh my Sorry, my grandson. When they're ready to... Right, puppy, hey, Kyrie. ...bond you out, they will oh, allow you to make a phone call. Jen, the work. Okay. They said when they're... When you come bomb me out later on today, I don't know how it's going to be. I guess you just have to look online. <laughs> Oh, I can't send me. Sorry. Kari, it's okay. I'm right here. Hey, Kai Kai. Hey. Hey, so how does she look it up? No, you, you or someone will call her when you're ready to go. and uh, right. I'll call you when I'm ready to go. It could be a couple hours. I'll explain to you later. This is embarrassing enough. So, Tori, for my one card that Jen has, the Amps got one, the nine hundred dollar one. You have to go to Wells Fargo, and you can only take out three, um, three hundred dollars at a time. So you have to do three transactions for three hundred dollars. Alright. So I don't know if I can take off today. I'm gonna get in trouble with work. Yeah, don't tell nobody else. <laughs> I'm not. If you need help, why didn't you ask me? Alright, I have to go to the police right that. here. Hello? I know, alright. I'll call you, um, what, you think a couple hours? Uh, could Maybe be a slightly hours. more than that. More it's than not, that? That's up to, I don't know what their process is. And they have you in front of the store, like, they, they won't put you in the office or anything? They're waiting for the lady to come. I asked him to take me out the side door, but I don't know. He said he's not going to put me in handcuffs. <laughs> yeah. But Jenna work, Toy, but you're friends with Jenna on Facebook, right? So you can call her. Jen, Jenna for, gonna, how long is she going to be there for? She works till 2.30. Please don't tell Alan or nobody else yet. Well, I'll tell him myself. Jesus, if you need to help with something, yeah. you shouldn't have told me. All right. I would have helped you. Yeah. You could have came and lived with me. I already told you that stuff. I know. All right. I don't care. You can be mad all you want. Like, this, this isn't a game. It's going to be on your freaking record. You know how hard it is? Well, let's go. We got the point. And Miguel, Miguel said, <laughs> told me that he wasn't going to. He was not going to get arrested. Alright, I'm going to go because he's letting me use the phone that's supposed to. Alright, right. don't tell nobody, please. I Love you. Bye. Hey, it's Ivan. Do you have somebody coming? Thank you. If you do, just send her to the office. We'll do this our share and then... Yeah. Alright, thanks. Yeah, we'll just wait for it to get here. Do is uh, walk out, go to the other side of my car, I'll handcuff you there real quick. And the car is right out here, but I'm parked like facing that way, so I'll be facing away from this car. Did my boss tell them that he said I wouldn't get arrested? Thank you. I know, there's a... Deputy coming in, if you go, make sure she, they might not be familiar with the store like we are. I'm sorry? She says me. Yeah, they, uh. Standard prior call, zone 12, snow 42, dollar general, 1113, West First Street, 1113, West First Street, I need to call it out, though.
The suspect was charged with felony grand theft and received five years of probation. Do you think she received a fair sentence? Share your thoughts below and don't forget to subscribe.